All right, hello everybody. Welcome to episode four of Hot Tag. Woo! I am the Lionheart Brawler from Philly, the strong style Lionheart, CJ O'Doyle, along with the one, the only, the legendary Lexi Fife. Lexi, yeah. I'll say hello to the people. Hello, people. <laughs> You just so you just in, you just said hello to everybody in one fell swoop. That was yes, amazing. Yes, it was. It was. I know? thought she was gonna be like, "Hey Tim, hey John, hey Mary, hey Lisa," but you just knocked them all no, out in one no. shot. No, no, hey people, it works, right? Perfect. This works. Uh, so this being the Milo Beasley Show Hot Tag mm -hmm. episode number one, two, three, four. Four. Episode four. Okay. It's oh, made I like a, that. Four. Four. That's what Rory yeah. does. Rory goes one, two, three, four, five. We count. That's how we teach him to count fingers. Okay. So little call out, a shout out to my little guy. Oh, see, um, I went totally for the wrestling bit of it. The four, never mind. Okay. Hey, that works too. <laughs> um, anywho, so you're familiar with the show? Yes. So you know that we're going to ask you a couple of questions and hot tag, right? Yes. Perfect. Okay. I don't know what the questions are though. Yeah. Questions are right in front oh, of me. Oh, look at that. You've got the questions. Okay. Milo Beasley's doing quite oh, well. Like the show's that. doing well. That's He's nice. now got his own. That's He's got nice. his name on that's his own nice. cards. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the budget's gone up for printing. So that's yeah. cool. Cool. So, cool. all right. So, Lexi Fife, if mm -hmm. that's still your real name. Of course, it's my real name. All right, just checking. <laughs> let's uh, let's get this okay. let's get this hot tag okay. on before right, everyone dies right. down and changes the channel. So, okay. question number one of hot tag. Yes. Who was your first celebrity crush? <sighs> oh, this is gonna totally age me, Sean Cassidy. John Cassidy. I had this poster of him up on my wall. Yeah, yeah. I was my teeny, my teeny bop star. Yeah, yeah. Sean Cassidy. <laughs> Sean, if you're listening. <laughs> why is that? Why is that like? <laughs> well, wait. I, mean, I see. Now I have to go watch your episodes to hear your slip. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Episode number three. Okay. Uh, we'll but watch. Sean Cassidy, good choice. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of girls had crushes on him, so yes, it makes perfect yes. sense uh -huh. that that was your first celebrity crush. Yes. Um, let's move on. <laughs> You're not I, impressed with my choice. I think you have a wonderful choice. <laughs> I'm sure you made many memories with Mr. Cassidy with your poster of him in your bedroom. So. I know that song. <laughs> and actually it's so funny that you started singing. Yeah. Because that is a perfect segue oh. into question number oh. two. Okay, okay. What is your favorite guilty pleasure song? <sighs> hmm. I guess it's not a do run, 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 a do run, run. Probably, uh. I, I like Mbop by Hanson. <laughs> can you can you sing us a few bars? Can you tell us how that goes? No, I can't. I know it's Mbop. Da 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 Mbop. <laughs> That's all I know. That's but all anybody yes, knows. But yes, but if if you want to ask for my guilty pleasure uh, song, that's probably one of them. Yeah. Perfect. And this is coming from somebody who grew up on Metallica, man. So you know. That's between Dave, yes. between David, Ca <laughs> Sean Cassidy, David Cassidy, between David, Ca which one was it? Sean. David? Sean between Sean. Sean between Sean Cassidy and Mbop. I totally believe mm. all of your metalness okay. and your Metallicaness. Cool. Yes. This isn't yeah, a question. Yeah. But can you name the members of Metallica? <laughs> Yes, I could if you didn't have me on the spot. <laughs> Sometimes we like to throw curveballs on hot tag. So, this is a, a Headfield's one of them. Uh -huh. This is a run in during the hot tag. So uh -huh. now we're actually going to have to do two hot tags. So. Yeah. I had ice cream. I had shared coffee ice cream with Kirk one time backstage. You shut the I front did. door. I did. I uh did. -huh. He liked coffee ice cream. I, had, I liked coffee ice cream. I didn't have any. You guys bonded. Yes, yes. I had one, one spoonful of his coffee Don't ice cream. Don't tell Sean Cassidy. It was not, I, <laughs> Okay, what's number three question? <laughs> Fun fact, Metallica's awesome. Metallica uh, is awesome. And if you didn't sing Mbop, whether you're, you were, what, if you never sung Mbop once, you're a liar. I'm just straight up calling yes, you a liar. Yes, 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 definitely. Everyone's done it at least mm -hmm, once. Mm -hmm. That and the Macarena, right? <laughs> yes, yes, we had a conversation about that earlier. Yeah, yeah. We've all had a conversation yes, about the Macarena. Yes, yes, the Macarena. Uh, I let my daughter dance to that song. I even said that. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. No longer. I think my jaw dropped. Yeah. Anywho, question number Trace. Okay. Three. 
Mm. Would you rather, so funny that I accidentally punched that because that is an accidental segue into question number three. Oh, okay. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck okay. or 100 duck-sized horses? You know, I've been bit by a duck before and it's not fun. How did you get bit by a duck? Well, Feeding? I was stupid and I decided I wanted to try and pick up one of its babies. Yeah, you don't do that to a duck because they get really angry. What if someone tried to pick up your baby? I, well, yeah, I would probably bite them too, but. <laughs> I've already but bit, let's see. All right, I, wait a second. I've already I'm bitten trying. three people before filming began trying to touch my baby. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Mm -hmm. Bit my cat, didn't you? No, he, Rory <laughs> bit your cat. Um, He's teething. It's all right, okay. hold on a second. I'm trying to think how big, like, a horse sized duck would be really big and those beaks would be really, I mean, that would be huge. Like, but a hundred of them, it would be like they would surround you and it'd just be like. <laughs> so um, I, I'm going to go for the horse-sized horse duck. The horse-sized duck? Yeah, because I feel like I could maybe punch him, just get that sweet spot and knock him out. But a hundred of them, it would be really hard. Right in the temple. Yeah, so it would be really hard to get a hundred of them. Face playing on his big bill, right? Big, yep. big duck bill. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with the horse size. <laughs> it's funny to see the duck go, duck. Yeah, land, tripod on his nose, right? <laughs> that would be We're bad cool. people. Yes. Yes. PETA, don't call us, all right? It's just a joke. Yeah, there PETA. really is no horse sized duck we're going to try and fight, we promise. Right, so stop trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. Not that we have anything against molehills, just no, well, PETA, stay no, the hell out. No. I don't really like molehills in my garden. Mm, who does? Okay. Or anthills. Mm, definitely not anthills. Mm, not with oh, little oh, ones. No. All right, number four. What's your favorite movie quote? I, you're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. Oh, but it works so hard to try to be big. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. it's not working. No, no. Oh, well. No. But favorite movie it. quote? You're killing me, Smalls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was just using that quote on me. <laughs> Ooh, all right, so we're one for one on this. All right. <laughs> I thought I was asking you stuff. That's, uh, I thought I was just asking you such a tough question that you're like, "Oh, you're killing me, Smalls." But that's the actual of that, all the movie that, quotes. That's the one you chose. Yeah, that's the one I say the most often. So uh, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's the one I say the most often. So I feel like I'm going to say. First, yeah. I feel like it's not the first time you said it to me, so okay, I, I shouldn't have been surprised. Mm -hmm. and no. That's why. No. I mean, no. Maybe that's why because you're so used to me saying it. Right. That you didn't even like. You, you thought I was just commenting towards you. You didn't think I was. Hey, actually, good saying, morning. Oh, you're killing, you're killing me, small. Smalls. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Okay. Sometimes I have nightmares and I go, "You're killing me, small." Yeah. I'm yeah. so sorry. It's okay. Uh, and then I just look up and see my Sean Cassidy poster. I know everything's going to be okay. <laughs> all it's right. with him all in white. For question number five, we're going to have a special guest cameo by the one and the only Rory J. Get Come in here. here. Rory. You're about to see oh. a kid just drop on screen in like two seconds. Whoa! Oh, right. Magic! This Akio is Rory, Rory Jacob. Sorry, he might be covering my microphone. So, Rory, just say hi to the people. Cheap plug here. Rory, you're going to help with question number five as long as the camera mm -hmm. can hear me. And question number five is, is Harry Potter a hero or actually just a giant dick? Dude, I just said Accio Rory and you're asking me a Harry Potter question. That is the weirdest thing ever. Harry Potter is a hero, always and forever. I am Gryffindor for life, yes. So he's a hero. All right, there you heard go. it first. You got the exclusive, hot off the press, not fake news. Harry Potter is a hero, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It took seven and a half movies. Three more are coming out soon, but he is a hero. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that Hermione's not, like, the real badass in the movies, but he, Harry Potter is definitely a hero. So when you watch episode three, because I know you already have, you know that I said he's a dick because he didn't share the spotlight. Well, okay, you know. He should have shared the spotlight. Like, I just shared the spotlight with Roy. He should have spread the, shared the spotlight with Hermione. Mm -hmm. I agree. So. I agree. Girl power, man. Exactly. Yeah. So, it's been a pleasure Thank you. getting to host episode four of Hot Tag. Four. It's been a pleasure having four. the legendary Lexi Fife on mm -hmm. this episode of Hot Tag. You know Thank what that you. means, right? That means you are officially tug in. Woo! A series of five questions yes. go to you, and now you have to find an unsuspecting victim 
to Hot Unsus Tag in Next. Mm. I actually heard that Selena De La Renta wanted to get Hot Tagged in. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe we just keep the camera rolling. I'm going to Hot Tag out. Woo. Lexi, pleasure. Thank you. She's so, super into metal. Did you know that? She's super what? She's super into metal. Really? Yeah. She huh. goes to like metal shows. I see. I heard she goes to wrestling shows. So pretty hot. Uh, if she goes to wrestling shows, I got to start getting on the wrestling shows she goes to. Yeah. So that. Macaulay Culkin started going to wrestling shows. He's not Topanga. No, that's true. Yeah. 